percentage of your staff did you fire at Twitter? One of the great business stories of the year. <laughs> I think we're about we're about twenty uh, percent of uh, the original size. Uh, so eighty percent left. Uh, yes. So I mean, a lot of people voluntarily. Sure, sure, sure. But but it's eighty percent are gone from the day that's, you took that's over. That's correct. Yes. So how do you run the company with only twenty percent of the staff? Uh, it turns out uh, you don't need uh, that all that many people to run Twitter. But eighty percent—that's a lot. Um, yes. Uh, over. I mean, if you're, if you're not trying to run some sort of uh, Glorified activist organization, uh, with, with, uh, and you don't care that much about censorship, then uh, you can really let go of a lot of people. It turns out. <laughs> <laughs> how many others, without naming names, but how many? I had dinner with somebody who runs a big company recently. who said, "I'm really inspired by Elon." And I said, you, "The free speech stuff?" He goes, "No, the firing <laughs> the staff stuff." Yeah. Um, how, many, how many other CEOs have come to you? Um, to talk about this, I, I spend a lot of time at work, uh, so it's not like I'm meeting with lots of people. They see what I, what actions I've taken, um, and um, but I, I think we just had a situation at Twitter where it was uh, absurdly overstaffed. You know, so it wasn't uh, you know, like you, you look at say like what does it really take to operate Twitter? Um, you know, I mean, most of what we're talking about here is a, a group text uh, service at scale, um, <laughs> like. I, how many people are really needed for that? You know, um, and if you look at the, you say like, uh, what has been the product development uh, over time with Twitter? And you like say so like you know years versus product improvements, and it's like a pretty flat line. So what are they doing? You know, uh, it took a year to add an edit button that doesn't work most of the time. I mean, this is I feel like it was a comedy situation here. You know. Um, you're not making cars, you know. Uh, it's very difficult to make cars um, or get rockets to orbit. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it, it, the real question is like, how did it get so absurdly overstaffed? Uh, this is insane. Um, so, anyway, that's, and it's clearly working. Um, in fact, I think it's working better than ever. It's fa we, we've increased the uh, responsiveness of the system by, in some cases, over 80%. We're trying to make, make Twitter the most trusted place on the internet, the least untrustworthy place on the internet. I don't think anyone should trust the internet, but, but maybe we can make Twitter the least untrustworthy. Elon Musk had an absolutely legendary interview on Tucker Carlson's show last night. We're um, still processing all of it. It's a valuable interview because it really shows you how far the Democratic Party has listed uh, and sunk directly into the uh, ocean of wokeness and down to the bottom of the sea. It's amazing to see woke people turn on each other. I'm not saying that Elon Musk was woke. What I'm saying is that Elon Musk was an Obama supporter. Elon Musk called himself a Democrat. Uh, Elon Musk, much like many other Democrats who have major platforms like Piers Morgan uh, and Bill Maher, they're saying that the party has left them, not the other way around that they have been abandoned for the insanity and mental illness of wokeness. And Elon Musk is now fighting against it because he views wokeness as a civilization destroyer. That's why he's protecting free speech by purchasing Twitter. And it's why he's trying to build his own AI. It's wild. Elon Musk remains, and we've called him this before, uh, a hero of the Republic and possibly, possibly uh, the best, the best chance we have at fixing corporate America and the trash that you see, whether it be Bud Light uh, or any other uh, corporate America trying to push their values on all of us. It's really powerful to have the wealthiest man in the world on your side. We're thankful for Elon Musk. What's going on, Facebook? It's your boy, Benny. Thank you for watching our video. If you wish to help us fight the communist, share the video, like the video, and join our 1.8 million person strong community on our page, Benny Johnson. Click on the three little dots right up here. That will allow you to put our page in the priority list for your feed, and it lets you see when we are live. Don't you want that notification to find out when we are live? That's what we're all about here. Let's go save America together. Thanks, Facebook.